All right, so in this activity, uh, you are supposed to use some hyperlinks to create multiple choices in your story so that your story can go in different directions based on what the reader chooses. So I've written out uh, the beginning of a story here, uh, and it basically says Jeff and Jessica are walking home from playing basketball in the park when they saw something flash in the sky and land behind Jeff's house. As they walked closer to the house, Jessica says that they should not get any closer. What should they do? And then there's some choices. Go behind the house to see what it is or run away and call the cops. So I have set up uh, over here a couple of choices. Uh, so we're just going to have it hyperlink uh, basically to the next slide. Um, and to do that, you're simply going to highlight what you want to hyperlink. So the choice A. Uh, we're going to right click on it. We're going to go down here to link. You could also use control K, the keyboard shortcut, but we're going to go to link. And then we are going to go uh, down to slides in this presentation. This is key because we're not going to some outside source. Slides in this presentation. And we want to go to slide three. So we're going to go down here and find slide three. And we're going to hit apply. And it should change colors. That's how you know it's hyperlinked. Okay. Um, now to test it, you're going to go up to view, uh, up to view, and you're going to click on present. Now you could also hit control F5, that's the keyboard shortcut, uh, which is what I usually use, but we're going to hit present, and then we're going to test it out. Uh, so this should go to the next slide. So when we click on it, boom, it goes to the next slide, and then I can go in and start building out my other hyperlinks. Um, so that is how you would begin to build out your story. Uh, I have a lot of hyperlinking that I need to do, um, but I'm going to let you uh, get to it. Uh, and good luck on your hyperlinking.